Hey everyone, so I had a little time, the boys are playing outside, and I wanted to post an update about what life has been like living in the RV. I really thought that it might be beneficial mostly because I remember when Timothy approached me about living like this, <laughs> and I remember thinking, wow, homesteading, all of that sounds really exciting and fun, and it also sounds really scary and there were some things that I was worried about. I remember after he and I talked getting online and typing in anything I could on YouTube about young families doing this, people who were doing this and what they thought the experience was like and doing that really helped me. There were still some worries and I guess that's why I'm making this. I, I'd like to add to the database on knowledge about what this lifestyle has been like. I wanna share some of the unexpected challenges, the things that I've encountered that are still really hard for me. And I'd also like to share a little bit about what was surprisingly easier than I thought. One of the things that was easier than I thought, we'll start with those, is living with less. So I imagined and dreaded giving up everything and having less clothes, less toys for the kids, less food and grocery items and things like that because you can only fit so much. And surprisingly, after some initial shock here and there, you just kind of transition and you just kind of adjust. And so having less clothes, it's been fine. The boys don't really care <laughs> what I put them in. Uh, they're boys, so they've got just enough jeans, just enough shirts, just enough pants. It's been very helpful to actually go through that process and live with less. The boys actually, they have some toys in little plastic bins underneath the dinette here. And they don't really complain about having less toys in here. One of the really ingenious things that my husband did was he kept the boys um, toy box. They have a huge toy box that was actually meant for outdoor use that they used in their bedroom. It was plastic, it was sturdy, and we thought that it would really work for their room. He actually decided to keep it it's right outside the RV. And so he kept it and a lot of the other toys, the outdoor toys that the boys have are outside. And again, it worked out a lot easier than I expected. Some other things that worked out a lot easier and just better than expected is that I think I had a dread that the boys would miss having all the space of a house that they would somehow feel some kind of deprivation living in an RV and in such a small space. I just imagine them being really confined, but again, their transition has been not only easier, but better than expected. My youngest son, Owen, said the other day that he wants to live in a camper forever, and I can't really <laughs> resonate with those feelings, but he he's loving it. He loves the RV, and I don't know if kids are just really resilient and if their memories are just much more full of grace, but they they have both expressed that they really love it and that helps me as a mom to know that this was the right lifestyle change for us for the time being and also really encouraging me that you know that they're they're getting along just fine in the rv and they have really everything they need homeschooling i was concerned that we would not have the adequate space to homeschool that we would not be able to achieve the same homeschooling environment as we did before and the reality is homeschooling hasn't changed much for us they do homeschooling at the dinette table. We do projects at the dinette table. We do a lot of homeschooling outside, which was something I always wanted. We have lots of baskets all around the RV full of library books or full of books that the boys own. And we do a lot of reading aloud these days. The only thing that we've had to kind of get creative with is space, but we have little bins, one for Evan, one for Owen, a morning basket that I use these days. and. We retrieve from there and homeschooling has been pretty seamless. So I would say that that has also turned out better than I expected. Now for some of the unexpected challenges. Some of the things that I would say have been particularly challenging for me right off the bat is keeping the camper tidy, keeping it clean enough. And that's kind of what I've had to get into the mindset of living in an RV is that tidy enough mindset things get so easily cluttered in the rv it happens so quickly all the boys have to do is dump out a bin of toys and 
jump on the bed and it, it looks kind of just like I didn't do any cleaning and the reality is there's not a whole lot of space in here and so things can get messy fairly quickly. One of the things that I try to do is just a, a quick sweep in the morning, a quick sweep at night and I do try to pick up here and there throughout the day which isn't really different for me but it does get messy and cluttery and I don't know if there's a whole lot to avoid that except for proper storage but again there's only so much that you can do the amount of dirt that is tracked in here by evan and owen is <laughs> insane and i find myself sweeping all the time and it's just it's just part of it so i've i've been working on acceptance but i like things clean and tidy and that part is very challenging for me another thing that has been a major challenge for me is storage i think storage is really difficult it's been really difficult for me i knew in my mind going into this that i was going to have to figure storage out and so i went to different stores and just got a bunch of little totes and those little cloth totes do not hold up very well so those little cubes those cute cubes that are cloth they do not work for long for this kind of full-time RV living. And so what I ended up doing is buying plastic ones because you're gonna want something probably sturdier that isn't gonna rip because you're pulling it in and out. And so I did end up buying those and that did solve a lot of problems. One of the aspects of storage in this RV for our family that has really started to drive me insane is our closet slash bathroom. The space in there has kind of evolved into a closet and miscellaneous area and cleaning area and just a closet of a bunch of things. It's kind of morphed. I decided to hang some clothes on the uh, curtain rod for the shower because there's just not any, there's not enough space in this little closet over here. And then at the bottom of here, I don't know if you can see that but we have so much stuff and we have right now our laundry bag the boys backpacks some walmart bags that are full of random things it's pretty rough in there but it's again one of those tidy enough things that i've just kind of had to accept until i can figure some things out one of the ideas tim had which we're going to try out is to hang a couple more shower curtain rods and by doing that kind of giving us more closet space maybe we can hang some more clothes on there so we have some ideas in the works but for the most part i've had to kind of accept that the bathroom is now going to be just a storage space along with that another thing that I've had to start to consider is the refrigerator is a lot smaller and so of course the storage space for groceries so I can only do about a week's worth of grocery shopping at a time because that's really all we can fit in here but for families that go grocery shopping for the month or for a couple weeks it could get really challenging to find a place to store all that food. The refrigerator will not hold for us gallons of milk. We kind of have to go down to the half gallon in most things. It can only hold a certain amount of water bottles and a certain amount of groceries. And so when shopping, I kind of have to be mindful of all of those things. Another challenge with living in an RV is that everything is a little flimsier and a little less sturdy. So, especially with kids, I'm noticing this big time. The dinette cushions are kind of ripping and that's just from hours and hours and days and days of kids standing up on the furniture, playing probably a little too rough with the cushion. And then also, boys, sometimes they want to jump on their bed and Tim and I have to explain like you can't do that because it's just not built for that. And so one of the screws actually came loose on their little couch bed. Overall, I think the transition has been going well for our family. We've definitely been encountering some challenges along the way, but for the most part, I think that we have overcome a whole lot and seeing Timothy and his stepfather really break ground on the driveway has been encouraging on this end to just kind of keep chugging along and adjusting to this new way of life. If you're interested in seeing more videos from our channel, go ahead and click subscribe. And if you want updates for those kinds of things, make sure your notifications for our channel are turned on. Again, thanks for watching.
than we have a visitor. 